Good morning, our students, and um, welcome to our discussions this morning on time series, which we earlier had started. Now we are discussing intensively or extensively on components of time series, particularly the trend and then the measurement of what of trend. Uh, let us recall to ourselves the various approaches through which one can measure the trend in a data set. We earlier had said that these methods or processes are, one, you can use your freehand or graphic method, two, you can use your semi-average method, you can use your moving average method, and you can equally use the least square method. We had already looked at the freehand in one of our previous videos and semi-averages. We equally have started looking at the moving averages. And today, we are now looking at the four-point moving averages. A way of measuring the trend from or in time series uh, data. In our previous class day, we had looked at what we call the three-point moving averages. And today, what we have is four-point moving averages. And then look at the question that is given to us. This is year 2001. The number of sales in year 2001 is 124. In year 2002, the number is 120 down to the year 2008, where the number is 470. So the first challenge here becomes, the data we have at hand, is it a time series data or ordinary data? It is a time series data because these observations are recorded sequentially against the time of their occurrence. So it is a time series word data because a time series is a set of observations that are recorded against time of their occurrence. So the question says that we should, from these data sets, compute our three-point moving averages and then what we call four-point centered moving average. So that is just the question. Using these data sets, obtain four-point moving averages and then equally obtain four-point centered moving average. So as a way of solution, we have these computations here. Here is our year. Permit me to write 01 as 2001 and 02 as 2002 in order to manage the size of my what my white border marker. So this is my 01 referring to 2001. The number of C's, just like before, is 124. Here is 02 referring to 2002. The number is 120 down to 08, where the number is 170. Then we now come, because we are concerned with four points, then we now know that we are going to consider four points before we talk about total or we talk about what averages. Look at what I mean. Because your interest is on four points, you must have to move four points before you talk about getting the total or getting the, what the average. How do I mean by this? That for you to start obtaining the four-point moving averages or the four-point center, you come and begin from the first data point, okay? Or from the time of the first data point, which is one and what 24. You count because you want to count four. One, two, three, four. So this is what we call four points. Because it is four points, you are now concerned with one, two, four, 120, 135, and 140. When you sum all these numbers, for us to first of all obtain our four point moving totals, the answer is 500 and what and 19. But the major question here becomes where are we going to write 519? Because this 519 is not belonging to 2001, it's not belonging to 2002. Is not belonging to 2003, is not belonging to 2004, it is belong belonging what to all of them. And because it is belonging to all of them, what you are going to do is 
to obtain the center point of all these times from year 2001 to year 2004. And if you watch, the center is not here, the center is not here, the center is not here, and the center is not here. The center of this thing lies somewhere here, where you can count one, two on top, and you can count one, two under, and then the center falls here. Because the center has fallen here, don't you see where I've written my 519, 519, which is now the four point moving totals. And because the before point moving total, if I want to obtain the four point moving average, what do I do? I divide it by four in order to have 129.75. So while this is a four point moving total, this is a four point moving average. For me to go over to the next one, you are going to drop the first data point. Because the one you had earlier, you started from it. So you are going to drop it. That's why we call it moving. It is moving. Then you come to this one. You equal a count to four points. One, two, three, four. So this time around, you are concerned with 120, 125, 140, and 145. When you sum all of them, the answer is 540. The concern becomes, where are we going to write this 540? Is it against 2002? Is it against 2003? Is it against 24 or is it against 25? It is neither against any of them. So what you are going to do is to obtain the center. And for you to obtain the center here means you come here. Where you can count 1, 2 on top, count 1, 2 on that, and then you have this center here. And look at me where I wrote my 5 fold. When I divide by 4, I now have my 1, 3, 5. So why this 540 is... 4 point moving total, 135 is my 4 point moving average. When you want to go over to the next one, you drop the second data point, which is 2002, and then you begin with 2003. You count for 1, 2, 3, 4. You are now concerned from here to here. When you sum this four, the answer is uh, 578. You obtain the center of these uh, time points which of course lies here, and that's why you see me write 5, 7, 8 here. When you divide by 4, you arrive at 144.5 as your 4-point moving uh, average. The same thing applies when you want to go down. You drop the 2003 and begin from this one and count 4. So here is my 4-point moving totals. Here is my 4-point moving averages. But then there is a challenge here. If you look at these four point moving totals and these four point moving averages, they are not recorded against time. So we have a problem. Because the time of interest here are 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, down to 2008. And then this, my 519, is not recorded against any particular time of interest here. So look at where the thing fell here. And we are not considering in between years. Okay? We are considering the years. So we need to center these averages. And that brings what we call four-point centered moving averages. We want to center them. How do we center them? You just come to this, your four-point moving averages. And you begin now to consider your two-point moving average. Okay? The two-point moving average means that you are going to say this plus this because you are moving two times. When you say this plus this, you take their average. The average of this number and this number is 132.35. And the concern is, you are not going to write this 132.37 against this 129.75. You are not going to write it against 135.00 because it is neither belonging to this nor belonging to this. So you need to get the average of these two points. And the average of these two points lies here, and that's the reason why you see me wrote this thing here. And if you check well, this number now has agreed with a time point of this uh, 2004 here. Look at it here. 
So if you watch this line, see it here, see it here, look at it here, where it has agreed. Sorry, look at it here, where it has agreed in the year 2003. Okay? So you also come, you leave this first one, then you now say this plus this, you get the average of the two, the average is what is 139.75. It's neither recorded against this nor against this, instead the center point. And the center point is like this, and look at it here. If you check, it agrees with what? With the 2004. So why this is four point, this column is four point moving totals, this column is four point moving averages, and this column is four point centered moving averages. You are centering it near so it can agree with what a time point of that data collection. There is always a question that is asked. When we compute a four point moving total or four point moving averages or four point centered moving averages, how many data points are lost? in total or in all. If you find out here, two data points were lost at the beginning, and then if you watch, if there is a continuation that down here, you find out equally that two data points are equally lost down here. So in all, we have four points, or what we call, that uh, we have uh, um, two data points that are lost there. The same thing I applies here, so we have two points here because this particular one agrees with 2003. We had a 2001 data point is already lost. 2002 data point is already what lost. The last one which we have here, one sees two point this thing, agrees, look at it, with 2007. So we have lost a data point here. And that data point we have lost here, if we total all of them, we have lost three data points. Two at the beginning, and then one at the what at the end. So when a question is asked, compute four point moving totals, four point moving averages, and then the four point centered moving averages. Just do exactly what I have done here, and you may have been able to arrive at the correct uh, answer. So this is how to obtain or to compute uh, your four-point moving averages with the intention to remove uh, the effect of a uh, trend from that data point, or what we call smoothing out trend from the data points. Thank you for your audience once again, and still remain connected with us because in the next class, we should be talking about measuring the water the trend using the approach of uh, the least square method. When we are done with you, surely you have a lot of things to think positively about how these computations can be used to address certain problems. Thank you very much.